reporting live from Hands and Bands. Back to you, Elisha. Hello, hello, friends. I've got a new camera set up, and I think I like it a lot. Remember I added that desk um, to the middle of my room? Well, not my room, my setup, because I had one desk here, and then next to it I had like a long table with all of my like Cricut and all that on it, and we'll now have a third desk, and so I'm able to like rearrange how I set up, and I think I love the view. Okay. <sighs> I ran up the stairs and I was trying to like send Emmy a voice at the same time and now I'm out of breath. So and there you go. We are here today so I can unbox something I just bought. I'm so excited. Well, I didn't just buy it actually. I bought it. I bought it. I think it was early December because it was right before I went on my trip. Guys, I went to Oregon for a weekend. Did I even tell you? It was a last minute trip. It was something, um, oh, one of my um, tiny hands miss. I'll try to insert a little clip or something if I still have it, um, was the view from Oregon when I was in the, on the road trip portion. Um, I have a really good friend who lives up there. I went to go visit and I had a blast. It was a quick, quick trip, like quick trip. It was like um, left on a Friday, it was back by Sunday night, afternoon, whatever. Um, but it was beautiful. It is so beautiful. Like the, the, like Lily explains it so well because she says, you know, mom, I know we have trees here, but like when you go somewhere else is when you really see like, we don't have any trees. <laughs> All you see are trees and green for miles and miles. And it's this open space and the air is fresh and the water you can drink from the tap if you want. And the food was amazing. Um, I did get a chance to see the, um, I'll try to insert a picture if I can. This is such a random insert. Cause I even thinking about this to like share this. I'm sorry. Um, we went to the um, Tillamook Farms, um, so we got to see that place. Um, the beach was amazing. Saw the beach on the sunset, or sunset beach. Saw the sunset at the beach. <laughs> and on the water. Um, did some small shopping, like in a small town. Guys, I was hoping for my homework moment. It was a small town. It was like Christmas town. It's at a Christmas market. Like big city girl, right? Like I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> Maybe next time. But... Anyway, while I was gone, this, this, let me circle it back. The reason I remembered that was because when I ordered this printer, that's what I'm going to show you, it arrived while I was gone. So here's what I ordered. Oi, oi. It is the NV6455E. This guy right here. Let's see if I can get you a better view. Oh, it's kind of heavy. So this right here. Um, What's wrong with your printer, Alicia? Why'd you order another one? It's getting old. I've had it since 2017. It was a gift for my sister and it has lasted and has been worked. Like it has worked. That is what I've been using. It's an HP, let me see. Um, HP DeskJet 2652. So it is, it's fine. And I'm gonna keep it probably, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna keep it, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on the, um print plan you know how you can use the hp um instant ink that's what i use so i don't know if i'm gonna keep that on there i'll probably keep it for a backup in case something fails here that's probably what i'll do but anyway so um this comes with a month of instant ink so i don't know how that's gonna work since i already have it if it'll apply but we'll see so anyway so my printer was fine or is fine it's just like certain things were happening like the ink was starting to not look as vibrant or it would randomly smear. I was constantly cleaning cartridges, throwing away product that couldn't ship to you. Um, and then like the, where you insert the, the tray for the paper, wasn't catching the paper to like go through. So I would have to sit here and like, I'm doing things right. And I'm printing something like pushing it down every time before the new page starts. Like it reminds me of the old school typewriter is like, ching, right? That was me with like pushing down the, <laughs> the print pages. So it was time. And this one, it was on sale. Out again, I'm, I don't know. I have to try to insert like insert moments and clips and things. I'm gonna have to actually edit this video. I've been really lazy with editing and just been like, hey, whatever happens, happens, and give it to you. But I'm gonna have to go through and insert some things. I do want to show you those pictures, and I do want to also show you um, the price because I did not. It was on sale, and I used I think it was fifty dollars from my Fetch Rewards to purchase this. Now. I forget like with fetch you have to like request and it takes some time it took like i'm gonna say two or three days for me to like get the actual code like the like a gift card i guess code to use on 
I bought it from Best Buy. So once I got that, and then you can only, Best Buy only had certain increments. So I had enough to cover another 30 bucks, I think, from the printer. I think I could have covered almost the entire thing, but the increments that I had um, left didn't apply to what Best Buy offered. I think it was like five, 25 and 50. So it was like, at that time, I think this wasn't worth the wait because I, I didn't want to lose a sale. So I was like, I'll just pay for the rest out of business money. It's fine. And I'll use that for something else. But just keep that in mind if you are using Fetch Rewards and or if you've never used it, um, you scan your receipts, you get points. I have a code below. You can sign up and we both get points if, we, if you sign up. Um, and those points turn into money. Literally, it's not a scam. It's just, you know, I was explaining this to my son. It's just like with um, um, like your grocery store rewards, right? So we had bought some steaks and the price was like 60 bucks for three T-bone. Or if you're a member, $25. And like really no one's not a member, it's free. It's just a way for them to get you to sign up so that they can track what you're purchasing, how often you purchase, what your trends are, what it looks like, what's selling, what's not selling. So it's it's data that they need to do better and to sell more, prop, um, more things and to advertise to you, right? So same thing with Fetch Rewards is how I view it. They're scanning, they, they want my receipts to see how, what's trending, what am I, where am I shopping, what's all of that, so they can sell that data. Is that 100% true? I don't know. That's how I view it. And so, <laughs> so I'm getting money for participating in the study. <laughs> that's how I look at it. So that's what I did with this money. I bought this printer. So I want to open it with you. Um, I also want to show you something else I'm working on. So just some things, right? Oh, mystery kits are on sale. They are they started back on the 1st and they will run through next Friday the 12th and then I will ship them out. Uh, I think I said January 20th. So mystery kits are available right now. And here's your Friday freebie. I'm going to do that before I open this box. <laughs> your Friday freebie. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay. I want to print it out too. Okay. This one is so cool, I think. You save $888 in this year, which I thought 888 was a cool number. Um every letter for each month, you save, you see, $12, right? Okay, so um, color in the letters as you save. If you want to do each month, like, okay, it's January, we're going to save in January and color in January, do it that way, or just randomly save the different letters, do it that way. I'm going to do this one. I love it. Um, and I decided it was a cool, cute looking concept. So there's, you can also change the dollar amount. Just keep in mind, if you change the dollar amount that you're saving per letter, it's going to change your total, okay? But feel free, you can get this one on my Etsy or you can get it at my website listed below. It's free to sign up and you have access to other items. There's some forever freebies and then a weekly Friday freebie. Okay, let's open this bad boy. Let me open it. Oh, wait, 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 I almost forgot. But friends, that's not all. We gotta do our Affirminators Unite, Unite. Curiosity. Okay. Actual school may have taught me that studying is kind of boring, but the school of life proves that playful as heck exploration, plus around every corner inspiration abound. Wait, I read that weird. Actual school may have taught me that studying is kind of boring, but the school of life proves that playful as heck exploration plus around every corner inspiration abound. So today I'll brush away any been there, done that dust from my eyes and brighten them with a fresh and glossy coat of curiosity. Excelsior! New expression I'll start using as soon as I find out what it means. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Interesting one. So instead of, okay, I'm going to read this as, instead of just saying like, okay, here's, you know, another unboxing that I'm going to film. I'm going to, I'm going to look at it from a new perspective. I'm going to try to look at it from, let me unbox this with a new set of, of eyes. Let's let's do something different when I when I open it and not think of it as just another thing on the to-do list. Um, or if I'm going out with friends, let me not be like, okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. I'm already ready to go home. But instead, like it's a new adventure. Let me let me try to seize the moments, right? That one's a tough one because sometimes I don't want to seize the moments. <laughs> I just want to seize my bed. <laughs> okay, now we can open. Tell me what you thought about that one, because I, I wasn't vibing with that one today. I don't vibe with all of them, you know. It is what it is, but I think that they are a good set of affirmations. I think I also bought the um, insurance for this, too. Oh, okay. Looks like 
looks like information I won't be using on top. No, I'm just <laughs> this sort of guy. Um, I probably won't be like completely setting it up right now, but I do want to show you everything. Oh, let me show you those things. Okay. So you get the quick setup guide, the picture that everyone loves to see, um, the instant ink, um, redeem my three month trial. Your printer is smarter with HP and then some other information. And then in here, this has, oh, what's that? Extra ink, or it might be the ink that goes in it. Um, Oh, let me see if these match what I already have. They do not. Dang it. Okay, so these are a 67, and my other one uses a, um, a 65. So that's unfortunate, because I could have just used what I already had in here, too. But that's okay. So I've got a lot of packaging keeping it secure. Looks like it's going to come out. I'm going to take it off the table and then bring it back. Ugh. They still have a lot of space up there. And I think my address is on this side anyway. Okay. Here he is. And I did want to stay with an HP because obviously um, I like the HP Smart or the Instant Ink. This thing is like legit in some packaging. And now we didn't have all the foam around it. The box is pretty nicely packaged. It also has the shrink wrap on it. Okay. So, what's different? Or what features does this have? I do not have the capability of doing um, two-sided. I have to literally figure out this to tell you. Now, this... That's some interesting stuff. So whenever I have a two-sided item, I have to print it and then flip it and then make sure I flip it the correct way to get it lined up correctly. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've done that wrong. Um, but this one does allow double-sided printing. Um, the feeder is different. My other one, um, the tray is here and it comes out this way. Um, it does have like a scan thing this way. So like I lift up like this and there's my scan. Um, let's get all this little tape off. I like how this one looks. And I like that it's not really big. I was concerned it was going to take up a lot more space than the other one. But I'm thinking it's about the same size. It's not too much different. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's, let's scan so it opens the same way. And then here, three feet, the paper in. And so the cover feeds this way. It reminds me of like the big copy machines at your jobs. Where it's like... To do the double side. Uh, what's the guy going on here? Oh, yeah. There's some more tape. We've got okay. My other one does not have that cool. This comes out here. Um, like I've seen some of those HPs that have like the cool like computer looking screen. I didn't have that either. So I've got some similar buttons here that I already know how to use, which makes things um, easy for me. I keep bumping. I'm sorry. There we go, take that out. Got the cable cord. Got some more tape I need to take off. I think that's all of the tape that's going to block me from being a productive citizen. Hello, citizen. Oh, the girls have got the last piece. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. So, what I assume is I just have to um, add it to my network, right? And then I need to register it with the HP Instant Ink. I don't know if I'll get three months free. I'm hoping I can still get it. Um, that'd be nice if they could just add it on to whatever you know account I already have. I don't want to have to start a whole new account. Um, I'm pretty much like I like how it's set up. I like what card I'm using. You know, all that's like so much to change over. So we'll see. But this is it, guys. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm hope Ugh, I keep up with the camera today. Maybe I don't like the setup because I'm standing up, probably. Okay, let me move this. That's one thing I wanted to show you. And the other is going to be hello, now I'm sitting. <laughs> um, I have decided to do, and I talked to, talked to you about this a little bit. 
a bullet journal for my 2023 life, right? Instead of having Erin Condren or, um, I'm just talking like really fast today, I'm more than normal. Like I'm, <sighs> <laughs> um, instead of doing an Erin Condren or, um, any of the planners I've been trying and even trying to make my own, it's just not, I think the problem for me was I had all these sheets all these pages of things that were available in a book and so then I when I made my own created those same pages but the problem is I don't use all those pages and I, I need to be able to do what I want when I want to do it in my my book and so this is perfect for me because one it's spiral you know guys I'm a spiral girl I'm an ashy hand spiral girl I thought I had some lotion up here um <laughs> you guys are like she's all over the place and I am <laughs> but I got lotion right here we don't need to be ashy it's gonna be an ad break Curio, dry skin therapy. It's dermatologist tested. Uh, 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 okay, I'm gonna have to get that in a second. Um, okay, so, oh, it's so much better. Oh, them hands was ashy. Okay, so, it's I'm a spiral girl, so I can lay it flat. Um, these do have perforated parts, so I can Tear out pages if I wanted to, I guess. Um, I like the size. It's it's a full page. And it's it's the dot, right? It's the dot journal, bullet dot journal thing. So I can literally create as I want to go. Today, I just want to set up my cover. I have ideas for every page. Um, and I can give you the, over, the overview of what I want to do. I'm not sure if I'll record every single page only because I don't know how long it's going to take me to set things up this way yet and I I'm I'm struggling with do I want to record that and then have to like edit a bunch down from like an hour to like 20 minutes or I just want to make some things first and then share with you and then after I've gotten the hang of it then come back and like record with you I'm thinking that might be what I do but we'll see today we're going to start with and I'm I'm not so worried about it to like oh my gosh I haven't set up the weeks yet blah 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 because it's it's still part of my break right now. Like I'm still in my break. And so I don't really need the list while I'm not working. So by the time I go back to work, I'll have my, my book set up. But I do want to set up the cover with you because I got something cool. Um, I decided to make some vinyl to go on here. I already cut it. Oh, get off. There we go. Um, oh, shiny in my face it's shiny so let's cut this out i should have weeded it already but i did not i did not hopefully i'm not showing my face and have to like blur out a bunch of stuff well, i don't want to do it okay so i'm going to weed this in a second but i also want to remember this this came from when i did gabby's um room and her side of the room had this like newspaper print looking and I want to put some of that on here so I've got some ideas that I'm going to cut and I'm going to get my paper cutter and like make sure it's really cut like sharply okay so let's let's go like right here I'm gonna need I need two strips this way I'm gonna cut this off. And I'm gonna need two strips in this way. Okay. Like this. I know, right? Like what you doing? That's the vision. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so let me let's go back to this real quick and weed this out. Where where is my little hook? What a hook gonna be. Oh my gosh, I have not been watching videos. That's nothing new. You guys know I'm so terrible with that. Um, but I have been. I did catch Erica's live the other day. She went on. Um, and I was able to jump in because I'm on break. Oh my gosh. Like, first of all, did she get more beautiful? Erica, you're gorgeous. You know, I always thought that. But I am. I, I told her, like, I'm so proud of you and your success and what you're doing. And it's just amazing to see, like, the crazy amount of orders she's going through and, and getting together. Remember, this is her full-time gig now. Like, kudos to you. Good job. Um, check her out. You know, I'm all about support. We are out here doing what we got to do. Um, oh, I know as we 
see people selling things and it's oh it's cool to see people creating um but some of us like there's for me it's almost like there were groups that came together and there was a group of us that came together like on the scene and we kind of like bonded together and so she's one of those ones where like i bonded with her early on before we had like the quote unquote bigger child i'm not nowhere near her level um <laughs> but you know what i mean like before you had a name um you were friends and that's she's one of those people where i i bonded before i became really hands in band so that's really cool to see her to see her succeed same with um budget with emmy i'm so proud of her and she is got she's got so much going on for the shop i'm so excited I cannot wait for her to share everything because then i can share it <laughs> I have to just wait. Oh, I hate waiting. Okay, so I'm just gonna weed this out. Um, I've designed this on the Cricut. It says things I can put off until tomorrow because I'm gonna have a book of basically lists. And so in this book, it's gonna be things that I can put off until tomorrow, which I really can't. It's just a joke, people, right? Ha 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 ha. Okay, so let's get that. I need to grab some transfer paper. No, I don't use masking tape, <coughs> Emmy. My stuff is too big for masking tape. Like, I gotta use, I gotta love transfer tape. Okay, so there we go with that. That's gonna go like here. And then I want a strip or two of this here, like this, and then a strip this way. Like, that's, that's what I envision. So let me grab the paper cutter and some transfer paper. Paper cutter is here. It has seen better days, don't worry about it. And transfer. Oi! Don't, don't let me lose you. Don't let me lose you, babies. Okay, I found it. It's here. These big rolls, because I do a lot. And I reuse these. Remember, we talked about that a long time ago. If you're new, because I have like, literally like 400 videos. So there's so much I've, I've done and talked about before. So I'm sorry if I'm not like explaining certain things, but I have videos where I show you how to weave and to do transfer tape and like, you know, if you get bored and you're like, she only posts once a week, go back and watch videos if you're new and you can catch up <laughs> on those days you haven't seen me or you don't see me. Okay, I'm gonna do like this and then I'm going to use this to just push down so I can transfer it. I shouldn't have to do too much. Okay. Hopefully that was enough. This padding makes it like I'm used to having a hard surface underneath. So when I'm pushing, it's not so terrible. And then I usually don't like weed on top of things. I would weed on top of my desk, but this padding just gives me a little cushion I don't really want. Okay. So as you're lifting, if you get some that stays up, just give it a little bit of love. Push it back down. Okay. I'm gonna put this. Actually, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait just a second, just because I'm not sure how this is gonna lay. I'm I might overlay, but I prefer to lay that over this than to lay this over that. So this is going to be. This, this is like right here. I'm right there. I need a pencil or something. That's a pen. Let's go to right here. And then we'll just cut that off. And we will also straighten this up too. And this is contact paper. It's like um like a wall like a removable wallpaper type thing. So I can um peel it off mm, theoretically. <laughs> but I tried to peel off a little bit the other day from something that I had put down. I was like, oh it's on there, on there. It's on there. <clears throat> okay. I need mean, Beetlejuice vibes. Okay, so that's almost at like one inch, something like that. 
So yes, perfect. Okay, so the other one goes right here. And then I'm lining up with these grooves. Use, use all of this to your advantage if you have one of these things. And like this pops open and we can extend. So, you know, and this one you can change the blades. Um, Amy and I were talking about her paper cutter and she's like, I'm getting another one because I can't change my blades. I'm like, wait, what? So definitely I say invest in one where you can change the blades. This one came in a kit I ordered of like some Cricut supplies. I want to say when they have like a sale or something. I got some mats and some other things. So I want to say that's how that worked. I could be lying. Okay. <laughs> I could be lying. So there are strips. I don't care about them matching up. I kind of don't want them to match up. I want them to look different. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll keep it one inch. I'm okay with that. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll do it. Maybe we won't do it one inch. Maybe we'll make these a little bit thicker this direction. So we're going to go to right here. And then let's cut that off first and see where we're at. A lot of how I create is just like this. It's me just making some stuff up, me doing some things, seeing how it works. Um, like maybe I'll go here with this direction. It's a little bit thicker. And it's at this two line almost. Yeah, I like that. So it's right here. We'll just do two strips this way too. Okay, now we can just stick these on like a sticker. I didn't really pick like any particular wording on that print. I just, this is random. So, it's just a vibe. I think I'm gonna do like this first. I'll a little bit. Let's come up to this edge. Okay. And then just kind of make it eyeballing, make sure it's even, even Steven. And then I'm going to go this way. I'm going to like, you see, I'm kind of layering it to the bottom as like a checkered look, I guess. Just heard my kids talking outside the studio, <laughs> my bedroom, <laughs> the recording studio. I don't know if they're fighting, if they're just playing, but it stopped and no one, no one yelled my name. So I'm going to take it as it was playing. There are no alarms going off right now. Okay, and I'm going to do this one. Um, I don't want it too close to this edge only because I'll be doing a lot here and I don't want that to lift up. And then we'll do this one. All right. Well, I didn't want that to line up. I want that to be different. Ew, guys, I'm sorry. I need to cut one more. I'm going to have to cut one off of this side. I didn't want it to look like... That I didn't want. I didn't want it to look like um, it went together. This edge is not straight. So first I'm going to just make it straight. So much happening. So much happening. And now, I'll cut that extra stuff off the other side. I got this off of Amazon. Um, it wasn't really easy buying too many newspaper print type things for her for her side of the room, I should say. Oh no. Really likes the Pom Pom Purin. I might be saying that wrong. And all that kind of stuff, so that was easier to find. Like pre made, you know. Okay, here we go. I told myself I was gonna do this in like 10 minutes and then go back downstairs and eat my lunch. <laughs> um, that was a lie. The lie detector test shows that was a lie. Okay, so let's give it a little space. Let's turn it sideways. I'm easier to, it's like I can see it easier this way. come down. Uh -oh. 
probably be a little shorter than that one, but I can also cut this. It's the nails. The nails work with me, not against me. There we go. Look at that. All right. And last but not least, this piece. That one kind of, as long as we're just going to turn it upside down and it'll look like it does it. <laughs> Dust my eyes, deceive me. My nails need to work with me and not against me. These are the nails I put on last week when you guys um, came to visit. <laughs> when you guys came to visit me. Okay. And the same thing, just give it some space, line it up as best as you can, and voila. And then we'll put this on. Yeah. I'm just hoping that like, this doesn't take up any of this book color, like, the, like this one. But it's looking good. No, let's that back. Let's get the rub it up, rub it up. And I just realized after a really I needed to save this paper. absolutely love it one thing I, I would say that I'm not loving about this mat is like every time I touch it it's like fingerprints are showing so that's the only thing other than that um and if you wanted to before you start it you could prep it with some kind of like a matte spray maybe like um what's that um that Mod Podge stuff you can probably spray that a coat and then lay things down or even now I could spray a coat over if I wanted to but I'm not gonna worry about it this is the things I can put off until tomorrow book beginning so and i have not forgot about my embroidery i'm gonna work on that this weekend too so hopefully next weekend i'm showing you more or next friday i'm showing you more like what i've created um and then once i get the hang of the embroidery because i haven't embroidered in forever we can do some of that together too all right have a great and amazing rest of your week i will see you don't forget to check out the website for your freebie and um the mystery kits are on sale okay bye we out